Hi, my name is Chris Hagist, and I want to show you how to install sponsons. And I also want to talk to you about my new sponson design, and we're going to install them here on this uh, hydro space that's upside down. You'll see that uh, this ski originally did have some sponsons, and we ripped them off and repaired the hole a little bit, and we're, uh, we're just preparing the surface to get ready to bolt on a new design that I've been working on for a couple years now. This sponson here is designed for the more extreme rider. It's got a nice arc shape, really crisp line. It's intended to help the ski have more grip and better stability in the turns. So what we're going to do here is we're going to drill holes, silicone it on, and screw it to the ski. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Sponson position is very important for to dictate the handling of the ski. The lower the sponson is, or more flush to the bottom of the ski, the better stability you're going to have. The higher it is, or more into the bond flange area, where there's a step, you're going to get better turning at higher speeds. It's also important to measure from the back of the ski to figure out where the sponson is going to sit, either further forward or further back. The more further forward it's going to be, the more aggressive, the more further back, it's going to be a little bit smoother and a little less aggressive. Right now we set up our sponsons where they're slightly off the bottom of the hull, so they're not quite flush, because we like the skis to really turn. And we measure from the back of the ski to the back of the sponson to be at three feet or 915 millimeters. So you really want to find your position. You'll want to mark your hole or where you want it. We provide screws here, a little bit thicker screws. There's eight of these screws. To pre-drill, we suggest 1164 drill bit. So we'll put our drill bit in. We'll set our sponson in the desired location. You'll start from the front and drill in. Come back. The front hole is pretty shallow, not very thick. And you'll set your first screw in. So what you're doing now is you're pre-fitting. No silicone. So you'll, once you get the first screw in, then you can start working your way down and making sure your sponson stays right where you want it. Like I said before, we like a slight step here. It definitely helps the banking angle once you're entering the turn. So we're just going to throw a couple screws in here just to give you the idea. I've already drilled all these out and screwed in, so... Let's see. Knowing how your sponson goes on. You want your screws to be nice and flush. These will all come pre-drilled from Pro Watercraft. So once I know the sponson bolts on, excuse me, screws on, and it's all ready to go. We clean the surface and we get ready to silicone them on. So I'm going to take these off. These sponsons are a little bit different than normal. You have if much, you're going to get a much thicker sponson. They're very strong. And the screws are really there to hold the sponson while the silicone dries. The silicone is intended to basically adhere to the side of the hull. You can use many different things. You can use uh, epoxy if you want to use fiberglass, but uh, silicone seems like it's a pretty simple, cost-effective way to install these sponsons. So this kit's going to come with a basic 100% um, clear silicone. Clear seems like it dries the fastest. Uh, black, gray, 
seems like clear always still dries the fastest. So we're gonna run a bead around, along the edge. And feel free to be pretty liberal about your bead. Put it all over around the bolt holes on the inside. It's not a bad idea. Obviously the silicone is to seal up the sponson. You got to assume that water is going to get behind the sponson. Allowing for water to come in, you got to allow for water to come out. So don't worry about if you get not enough silicone on there or if, if there's leaking. Now it's important to maybe dab the hole so when the screw does go through that you get a little silicone into the hole to help seal it up. You don't want water leaking into the hole. Just check this here, make sure we got everything. Oh, one hole there. Okay, looks good. Alright, so we're going to put the sponsor in the position. Start with our front screw again. Might have to peel the sponson back just to find the hole there. There it is. And you start working your way down. Having towels, maybe gloves, all that stuff does make it easier. Just sort of halfway run in a couple of these screws just to make sure that all of the holes line up properly. Now there's going to be four long screws and four short screws. The long screws will be in these sections here where the sponson is a little bit thicker. The short screws are usually going to go like the very front, the very rear, and up along the top here. All right, once you go through and check all your screws, make sure they're tight. That's good. Then you want to come back and wipe your silicone as clean as possible. You don't want a bunch of like globby kind of burr poopish hanging off the bottom of the hull. You want to make sure that the seam of the bottom of the hull is nice and smooth. So you, you can run your finger across it and wipe it off with a paper towel or whatever other uh, epoxies you use. You know, you want to make sure that you wipe this edge nice and smooth so there's not a lot of silicone hanging off on the bottom. Now, if you didn't get any silicone to squeeze out, you might have to slightly wipe the surface. Maybe throw a little bit in there. But again, with the screws and the amount of sponsons you put on, it should be more than enough to keep the sponsons from coming off or even breaking off or cracking. It's gonna be pretty crazy here with spreading on on my silicone and then I'll come back and I'll wipe it nice and clean. Once you go through and detail the sponson or the silicone around the sponson, you're pretty much ready to go to the other side. That's pretty much it. There we go. You the sponsons are on. You know, let them dry for about 24 hours. Let the silicone really bite in and set. And um, these are the new Pro Watercraft sponsons. Uh, the benefit to these sponsons opposed to other ones 
Uh, for one, they were designed and tested by pro riders. They were definitely intended for close course racing to get the most stability, but the best turning grip possible. Um, they're definitely not your normal looking spots and it isn't a copy of someone else's that you're just buying um, that all looks the same. They are longer than any other sponson on the market. They do have more uh, sharper edges to improve stability and some curvature to help the ski, the front of the nose of the ski, bite into the turn and uh, give you that consistent turning grip that uh, you'll definitely want when you're racing.